Hi, I'm Anthony Romrell. I'm going to continue sculpting my pig. So what I have here is I've sculpted my head, my arms, my legs, and my body. They're not all connected yet and working together. What I'm going to do now is connect my body. How you connect your body uh, of, of your polygon mesh is to select all of your elements together and then you're going to go to mesh and combine. When you hit combine it becomes one mesh and this is the only way we're going to be able to put these objects together. Now one thing we haven't talked about that's going to be problematic in the future is this list right here. This is called history. Now history is a good thing because you can go back through this history and make changes. However, there's times when it doesn't read the history right and it could tweak your model when you open it. So occasionally you're going to want to empty or occasionally you're going to want to delete your history. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to go to edit, delete by type, and history. And it's going to clear out that list. It's good, just good practice to clear out your history ever so often, but only if you're in the modeling mode. When it comes to rigging, you don't want to delete your history. So now that this is together, I'm going to introduce you to a new tool that we haven't used yet. And it's under Edit Mesh. And it's under Merge Edge Tool. Now, the Merge Edge Tool works just like this. You see these open edges where we had this hole that we created? I'm going to select an edge. And it's going to turn amber. And I'm going to select another edge. And then hit Y to repeat the tool. And it's going to seal up that hole. Again, I'm going to select one edge and a second one, hit Y, and it'll start the tool over and seal off that hole. I'm just going to go around and basically what I'm doing is I'm connecting the arm, I'm merging the vertices of the arm to the shoulder so that this now becomes one connected mesh. I'm going to do the same thing with the leg. I'm going to select two edges and hit Y to start the tool over. And when they start the tool over, it closes up the edge. And I'll repeat it until nothing turns magenta anymore. And now I have no more holes. And since that's done, I can focus on this one side of my mesh as I discussed before. And I can start to sculpt this out with the arms and legs connected. So I'll do that here in a general way. And as I'm sculpting, I'll start to realize, hey, you know, I'm stretching the geometry a little bit too far. I might want to add in an edge loop. So I'll give it a try and add an edge loop right here. And then use that geometry to sculpt verti vertices. Now, one way that you can use the move tool, if you'll double click this, is I can go to vertex mode. I can select a vertice here and I can use what's called normal. Now, normal is important because this is the way we're going to use normals much more later, but normal is the direction the vertice is facing along with U and V along the normal. So this is just a different way to pull geometry and when you're on this level sometimes it comes in handy to use this tool rather than your standard move tool but either way you can use whatever tool you like to get whatever results you want and as you can see it it works just slightly differently than the standard move tool What's nice about it is if I hit V, it's going to go down in a different way, and then I can hit N. Just sculpt this in. Insert another piece of geometry with my Merge Edge tool. Go to Vertex Mode, and go to this Normal Move tool, and gently sculpt in that new edge.